Hello, Dr. Pi. Are you going to show us an update on your CNC project? Um, I gather you ordered a proton ear CNC hat. Has that arrived yet? Well, it's funny you should ask that. It's almost as if you knew. Uh, the postman brought me a proton ear hat today, so let's unwrap it and have a look. If you're um, push for time, then you don't need to watch all of this video because the whole point of it is that the proton ear hat arrives without any stepper drivers so you need to order those as well that is the whole point of this video today and at the end i will show you uh, me messing about with some code and a highlighter pen installed on my z-axis whilst i await the spindle Hey. Oops, sorry. So can you tell us a little bit more about why you're going to use this CNC hat? Yeah, while um, my camera struggles to focus... Focus! Um, sorry about that. Just shouting at the camera. Where was I? Right, the hat is to attach to the Raspberry Pi so the Raspberry Pi can communicate using Gerbil GRBL. I'll be using BCNC which I featured in an earlier video. Might also experiment with UGS Universal G Code Sender. Either way they, they both will achieve the same result. The hat once I've got these stepper drivers, um, we'll have the three motors connected to it and then the G-code will be processed by the gerbil and um, yeah, we'll be able to run three motors properly rather than just me tinkering around at the moment with my highlighter pen and sending it X and Y values using a Python, um, Python script. Not included. Read the instructions. RTFM. I can order five of those for about five English pounds. That's not the end of the world, but it's just going to delay me a little bit. You can see four. Um, Four connectors for four motors. Obviously, that's the X, Y, Z, and then there's the, the spindle. Um, so the whole purpose of this is to allow me to use a Raspberry Pi to control a CNC machine, CNC router. Um, I didn't want to buy a Windows PC to connect to an Arduino to connect to the motors, etc. That's the other way of doing it. But obviously a Windows PC involves the Microsoft tax and a lot of big chunky hardware. So. Why do all that when you can use a Pi with a hat? And um, I'll be VN. I'll set up. I need to set up the Pi with a GUI because at the moment my Raspbian image is just the headless one because uh, there was no need to set it up with a GUI. But I'll need the GUI so that I can click the buttons to control the CNC side of things. I'm just. Um, I've just noticed that. The drivers weren't included, so you'll see me checking the Proton Air site. That's where I found out that the stepper drivers were not included. Lesson learned. Um, I hope you're enjoying these videos. They um, they take a little bit of work. When uh, well, I should actually be working for my day job, but um, <laughs> this is more interesting. 
You can see the pictures. They, there are quite a few pictures of the hat, even on their site, showing the stepper drivers in place. Little bit misleading. It fooled me, but then again, <laughs> yeah, no comment. No comment required. So it's more the way from New Zealand via AML. They could have sent it on a ship. I wasn't in that much of a hurry. I've got other things to be doing, like retaking my CCMP exam. Which, for those of you who don't know, is a Cisco professional certification which allows you to work the Cisco. You can see I've. In the absence of a, a gearbox controller, I've been writing my own Python code to move the motors about. Here I was trying to code something to draw uh, a couple of circles, but then I got sidetracked and made it just draw um, like a step effect. And then I started multiplying step values to create, I thought I was going to create a curve, but it's quite... Uh, it's quite hit and miss at the moment. And you can see I've taped the highlighter pen to the z-axis, so all expense spared. Um, the bit on the right is the code you just saw working. The bit on the left I just screenshotted. That's um, me experimenting in Python, drawing a couple of parabolas. Um, I'll leave that to your imagination. So th this is not a tutorial, but um, I just thought I'd show you some progress and show you the start of the uh, process of adapting this project from running with an Adafruit hat, which doesn't speak Gerbil, to replacing it with a Proton Ear hat, which does speak Gerbil. Probably enough waffle from me now, so uh, yeah, I'll just fade. interesting video Dr Pi. I hope you uh, get the Proton Ear hat working with the stepper drivers. Can you order those quickly please because I'd quite like to see the whole thing working with uh, some some proper code and some uh, yeah some some uh, uh, yeah whatever. Yeah don't forget to subscribe. Bye!